Come on down to Crazy Geardo's used car lot and hardware emporium for the best prices on used cars and hardware. We got more cars than we know what to do with. We got Dodge, we got Chevy, we got Jeep. We even got a custom battle buggy that'll fly through the infected hordes like a bull in a china shop. So come on down to Crazy Geardo's used car lot and hardware emporium where we do the test driving for you. Howdy nerds, Geardo here. Uh, started working on my own server not too long ago and uh, found out pretty quick that what I needed was some reliable vehicles that I could uh, carry lots of gear in and that would be fairly utilitarian. SUVs, things like that. The Land Rover Defender comes to mind. The UAZ comes to mind. So the... Uh, the vast majority of the vehicles we'll be testing out are coming from the Psycho Daisy Vehicle Expansion 1.09 Fixed. Uh, just so you know, this cool looking van is not there. The uh, Bronco is, the Tahoe is, the uh, I think that's the Challenger, that is. Um, what is that? Is that the Mitsubishi? Let's see. There's the uh, Skyline GTR, uh, the Tahoe, the Rustic Buggy, uh, the Kamaz shows up, but it is bugged, so uh, we won't be looking at that. The AMC is there, but it's a little bit bugged as well. Um, the Ford F-150 is there. Uh, the Wrangler is there. The Mustang is there. The BTR is not. It says it is, and it kind of shows up in the traders uh, list, but there's, there's nothing there and you can't buy it. Another issue is a lot of these, some of them, not a lot of them, some of these uh, are bugged in that you can't sell them through the trader. You might be able to buy them but you can't sell them back later. Though why you would want to do that, I don't know. Now, even though some of the vehicles in the in the free uh, mod are, uh, how should I say, lacking, uh, there are some some other ones that are that are pretty decent. So first off, let's let's try taking a look at the Psycho Daisy buggy. Uh, see if that's worthy of uh, being made available on Geardo's Playground. It's got uh, slots for five wheels, one spare, uh, and 200 inventory slots. So not a whole lot, but I suppose if you're making a quick run somewhere, um, it would be it would be a good vehicle. Um, not very safe. This doesn't seem very safe to me uh, because it's like wide open. Um, trying to find the sweet spot to get in. Uh, there it is. Okay, so the sweet spot's down a little bit below where you would expect it to be. Uh, no key, so just uh, find another sweet spot. There it is, right there, right in the middle of the steering wheel. And start her up. Okay. So one good thing about this is plenty of view. Easy to see. Four speed transmission, manual, of course. Um, it's got a nice beefy sounding engine. Uh, that kinda, kinda could be a, a negative. Let's uh, take it out. Whoa, okay got a really powerful takeoff lots of torque I'm still in first excuse me coming through shifting all right all right let's see what it looks like from outside okay first off the uh, what I consider the center of gravity is a little bit off can't see the I can't see the ground here. You notice I'm I'm picking up half the wheels. 
my uh, my cursor there, my my uh, dot. I consider that to be way high. It needs to be down about where my head is on this vehicle. Whoa, check that out. I'm glitching through the glitching through the fenders there. That may or may not be a good thing. I don't know. My big test on a vehicle, especially uh, one that you're going to be doing looting in, is can I get past a zombie without it uh, hearing me? Nope, nope, that guy saw me right away. Whoops. Okay, there's another issue. The uh, collision spots are a little bit odd in places. Especially the front. Back and the side seem okay. They're just bouncing right off. Uh, let's see. Okay, here's a couple of guys up here. Let's see how far they get up into my uh, space. Whoa! Oh, that guy's right in my lap. Hey! Hey! You can't be here! I see they should not be able to uh, step into my lap. So that's a that's a big negative on a on the psycho buggy. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head off into the uh, frontier to the south, and I'm going to see if I can get this baby to uh, make it through some of the dirt roads, and the hills, and such. Let's see what our top speed is. Third gear. Take it all the way to the red line if we can. Third gear already up to almost 100 kilometers an hour. Hugs the road. But in fourth, flat out, 103 kilometers is the max. Of course, we are kind of going uphill. I'm, I mean, but I don't call these hills. This shouldn't be enough to bother bother a vehicle. See, you should not have to downshift to climb a hill like this. But see, I would expect I would expect a little better performance out of a vehicle like this in third gear going up a hill. But then again, how do I know they don't have a Kamaz engine in this thing? Alright, let's take this thing off-road. This isn't really a road, it's more like a badly defined path. All right, here's where we may run into some trouble. These vehicles don't like obstacles, like trees. See, problem already. See, I am maxed out in reverse and I'm jammed onto a tree. Seriously. That doesn't seem right. I know I won't be able to climb those rocks. Alright, see? Here's a problem. Here's a problem. I should be able to climb that little hill. I have a feeling I'm stuck here permanently. Trying to go back the way I came now, if I can. Yep, just spinning my wheels. That's a problem.
Well, at least I'm not burning out my transmission trying to climb the hill. Normally I'd be redlining in any other vehicle. But I'm skidding very badly. These big fat knobby tires are getting no traction. Alright, off-road capabilities... Not the best. Hill climbing... Not the best. Maneuverability? Not bad. Decent maneuverability. Uh, does tend to get stuck on obstacles that you think you should be able to avoid or drive over. Especially with the ground clearance this vehicle has and uh, the big, big wheels. All right, this is a test drive of the uh, the buggy. And what I find with the buggy is it's a great little uh, joy rider. But if you're expecting it to help keep you alive, you may be out of luck. Um, the speed's not that great. Uh, there is absolutely no uh, protection from bullets or zombies. Zombies end up in your lap if you happen to be surrounded. Um, on the whole, I'm thinking I am not going to be adding this to my server. It's just not. Uh, it's just not something I want to want to deal with. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to say that's a that's a no for me on the buggy. All right, next time we will probably take a look at the Dodge Charger, the police charger, uh, another Psycho Daisy vehicle. Uh, until then, later, nerds.